Semantic trees in Scepter are like the words of a normal CPU. They're our base data unit. So our receptors act as lightweight virtual machines that instead of operating on 32-bit or 64-bit words, they operate on the full semantic tree. Our intention here is to try to build meaning in at as low a level as possible into the computing stack. So these base units themselves are composed, just like a regular word in a CPU is composed of bits that the CPU can shift or add in, its, etc. In Scepter, the semantic trees are built out of named structures that themselves are composition of other semantic trees. So the example we have here is that of a home location, which is a semantically identified latitude and longitude, a geolocation. So its structure is a lat long. Its semantic name is home location. Now what is a lat long? Well, a lat long is a composition of a latitude and a longitude, each of which are structurally a floating point number. So let's take a look at one of those. What is, the com what is a floating point number? Well, it is a composition of a mantissa and an exponent, semantically, which themselves are both integers in structure. Uh, an exponent, as an integer, looks like this. It is a series of power of two, base two, exponents that themselves structurally are bits. So you see in Scepter we have this form of semantic alternation where you alternate between the meaning and the structure as you go down the tree.